Hello YouTube, this is Music Crazy Deacon. In this video, this will be the same intro for the first two videos, but I'll split off here in a second. We're going to first to start these two videos off. And they're going to be in separate videos. You have to go to System. And then after this, I'll explain each one. Uh, you go to... First, you have to disconnect. So you go to... So you go to your network settings, wherever it is. I'm not going to show mine. And then you disconnect from your internet, whatever you have. Disconnect it so it doesn't connect at all. If you have a uh, automatic wireless connection, a wired connection, unplug it, disconnect it. Then you go to your storage. So when you get to storage, I'm going to do a few things. Which is... First, you want to go to system. I already did this, and I'll show a snippet. Oh, you go and you click on your content cache. You delete it. The other thing that I forgot to do, which demon pop up in my mind, is since we're doing Minecraft, you need to go down to Minecraft, which takes a while if you have a lot of games. I was just deleting texture packs and that, but I didn't even think about it because it is playing off a it's playing off a title update which should not be happening since you clear the system cache but since minecraft and this will be really cut down because i've been messing around with this a few minutes so if you go down to minecraft alone there's save info which i believe now if we just delete this it is an update to the game it should revert the Minecraft all the way back to nothing. It should it should just delete Minecraft back to this very the very first Minecraft. Because that's the that's the system update. That's the version of it. We delete the content stash and just to make sure we're gonna clear system cache. This is how it used to work, but I didn't know they had the actual update on Minecraft in the storage in the old 360 So we're gonna go hit Minecraft and sorry if the video is kind of weird here just because I've done certain steps out of Order and I've been trying to figure this out for the last couple minutes because I knew this worked in the past I just couldn't remember how to get it to work again To where I would be playing the very first Minecraft version uh, from the Xbox 360 I just couldn't think of what else it could be I never thought about a system update inside the storage so this is where it's going to split if this works first I'm going to show you how to get the original tutorial world at least parts of it okay so it is the very first original one so now you hit play game you hit play continue playing offline this is how it looked the very first couple of days it came out on Xbox 360 Once it finally loads, you play tutorial. You have to play tutorial. This is the very first tutorial map ever came out and it's gonna be in a future video of mine. After you've done all that steps, you exit game, you exit and save. So now you have a tutorial world saved and you can transfer it up and I'll show you how to do that here in a second, but I'm gonna show you, a, in, I'm gonna explain in a different video now. Okay, so continuing from the last video, from the last thing. So we saved, if we go on hit play game, just to make sure, continue playing offline. We have this new world now. It's called tutorial. We're just gonna load up real quick just to make sure that it's the tutorial world. So you just know that it's the one. And this is my favorite tutorial world of them all. Because it was the original and it's the one that got me started on the 360. Uh, and we did a lot on this map. We flooded the whole map with lava. This is back when the Minecraft duplication glitches still work. So if you remove all updates, you get this one and the old Minecraft duplication videos you could do again on this old Vert Cursion version and no one would know because if you do a duplication uh, duplication glitch on this you get infinite stacks basically of objects 
and if you did a video of this old model like gravel looks different and a whole bunch of other blocks look different people might not even notice until they look at your your bar at the bottom and they're like what you only have food and you're on an xbox and chests look different and it's a this like this is one of my favorite versions and this is the map that i might be using for a later on video like i was saying uh otherwise like i said if you guys want to see a full playthrough on just these old current this old version just tell me down below uh i didn't say it in this video uh that's a part of a different video that will come out before this uh otherwise we're gonna we're gonna exit and save again and then we're gonna do the magic so now after this is saved the next step of getting this to the current minecraft you're using so this is only for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 users to get up to Xbox One and PlayStation 4 versions. Where then you can play with everybody else on these maps. Now, the way to do this is you have to go back to your system. This is the next step of it, and this is going to be a longer video showing this. Uh, you have to then, since you delete everything, you have to go to your network settings and reconnect. Yes. Says I am connected, but I think the problem here is I don't have any updates, so it's trying to do stuff. So the way you're gonna have to do this, since you don't have online yet, is it's gonna have to update all these games, and each update will take separately. So the best thing you could probably do, which I'll probably leave in, uh, at least a little bit of this, is I'm gonna find Minecraft, wherever Minecraft is. I want to pass it somewhere. And this will probably have an update. So you'll have to update it. Otherwise, the best thing for you to do, which I'll probably state, keep in here. So it got it already has the update because you can tell by I think the loading screen. See, we have to download an update. So now we have to wait. And there'll be a lot of waiting in here. So you have to update your Minecraft again and your entire Xbox and that will take some time. That's why I'm saying this is not the best. This is the only way you could do it, but it will take the longest because you have to wait for updates. So I will be back when this will be multiple videos snapped together of me doing this because I'm not leaving this all for you guys. Otherwise, I will see you guys when this updates for the next step. Hello, you. Yeah, I mean, hello, YouTube. Okay, so after the update, and I will explain right now, it took me maybe two and a half to three hours to download all the updates I would need to do this next step. So I will warn you right now that's how much you will. Maybe not that long if you have a faster internet. This is not wired, this is wireless, so it probably would have been a lot faster if I wired up to the uh, router but it was not and this is hours and hours ahead because i already slept you have to turn on your cloud saving so you go to your storage and you can turn it on mine was automatically on sometimes it's not and you have to wait for this which this takes a little bit okay so it's done syncing levels so now when we hit play game This also looks very old to me because I haven't been on the 360 in forever for Minecraft. We're gonna load up the hard drive. We hit play game. And we have to find the world that we want to transfer. This will work for PlayStation 3 or Xbox 360. We're doing the very first tutorial world. I don't know about PlayStation 3. I don't know what their first tutorial world was. Ours was really old and I believe Minecraft Xbox 360 was the first console that got Minecraft after PC. And it was very back with a lot of stuff not in the game. Not that you guys know of now. So then you click on this. 
you go to save options, press Y, upload save for Xbox One, upload save. So now, this will upload save. Now when the upload is complete, you're good to go. You can only upload one more at once. Uh, now, we have transfer over to Xbox One. And that's just going to take me a second because I have to redo some HDMI cords. Okay, now from this point, I've signed on to Xbox One. We have to go to games and we have to look up. This is the newer Minecraft. So you have to look up for Minecraft Xbox One Edition or Minecraft PlayStation 4 Edition. I believe it works the same way. Now we just have to wait until it loads up. The next step. You hit play game, it's going to mute all my audio because I have no audio on when I do streams. So now it's time to go do the new Minecraft. We want to still play the original Minecraft. Now we have press X and we retrieve the Xbox 360 save. It's not a big save since I didn't do too much on the tutorial world. Now it's complete. So we're going to change it up because it keeps crashing. When I try to load it, it gets about 25%. So my best idea for this is I'm gonna have to load it on this Xbox One edition and just roam around for a minute and let it save and then go on to uh, the the better together version. Because I didn't think it was gonna crash at 25% each time. So I'm gonna think I might have to load up this world Gonna be offline. No host privileges, no reset the nether, nothing. Yeah, so if you remember the world, we did not have a map. Actually we might have. I don't know if maps were back in that update. Actually they might have been because So I'm gonna just show you a few things. I'm gonna try to load out some of the world. Here's a farm, a really decent farm to start with. That's why I'm saying this world I'm going to do something with. And you, might got, you guys might think it's cheated, but I'm going to set rules on myself. Only because I'm starting off with a world like this. Otherwise, to this very first tutorial world, this was amazing because uh, PC did not have a tutorial world. You just got to know the world. But to get my father and uh, cousins and uncles to play this, we definitely needed to bring them through something. And the tutorial world was what uh, I got them into this game. Otherwise, it's going to be hella hard to do this, bring them in. And I don't remember all the stuff about the tutorial world. I'm going to explore this a little bit. Like, uh, that square there is, this is a monster spawner down there. Tell from the walls. And there is stuff down there to collect. I don't know what's down there. You can wait until I do a series on this world. Uh, that is the tutorial section. This is their uh, lighthouse. And these might look very crappy designs, but remember, this is back before beds and hunger bars and back before the Ender Dragon was in the game, the Wither. Like, this is really old Minecraft. And even stuff like this is very basic design. This is still incredible for the time it was in here. Even if it was very crappy design for back then. It is very incredible for them to do to give us a world like this and just explore it a little bit more so it looks like I got the entire chunk here loaded entire map here loaded which is great because that's why I wanted I didn't want any unloaded spots because there's a lot in the tutorial world that can happen but here's the other bad part about this while I explain because I want to explore a little bit more just so this map is loaded a little bit so it will have an easier time transferring 
is there's no emerald around the world because that's before the time. Uh, any dungeon that's on this map is only going to have loot from back in that version. There's a parrot there. But parrots don't spawn unless it's a jungle. This is technically a jungle. Every area has switched. If you see this area here, the very bright green, this is jungle. Uh, since the grass texture didn't really change, it changed a lot over those, a lot of those updates that would have been added on after I got this game in. There's a lot like that that has changed. This is also before the sign up here after a certain point in updates, it had a, a obsidian portal to the nether in it. This is before those updates. I can tell just by looking at it, it's before the updates. Here's the bridge. Or not they used there on the second update they added a bridge that added pistons and that to the game this update did not have that bridge it only had the basic walkway into the castle and even if this looks like a lot to start with on a map it's not a lot there's pumpkins over there it's still this is still just buildings not a lot of these buildings have designs in them some of them do some of them don't and it will take some time to for me to go through and redesign everything but this is the map we're going to do a certain thing on. I'll explain it later on if this transfers correctly because I do want to play on the current version of Minecraft to actually do it, do the challenge. Uh, otherwise, I think that's the only things here. I think there's a village back there, a lighthouse, the castle here, and the farm. And I think that was it for the map. It wasn't anything too spectacular with it. This, these were so spectacular to us. When we played on this map for hella long. Otherwise, I'm gonna save and quit here in a second, see if that helps load the game. It will help load the world better. I think I've loaded everything I wanted to because there's nothing really else here. Iron door is ahead of its time. There's a bed here. Oh, so yeah, there was beds in the game. I didn't know if beds were in the game yet. So beds were in the game. Like, they didn't transfer everything over to this first edition, so there's a lot of stuff that was weird or not in this update and it was missing a whole bunch of key features otherwise there are a lot of cool secrets I know about this map only because we mined the sh crap out of this map and we blown up the crap out of this map so when I do get back on this map here in a little bit I will show you some secrets when I do my series we're gonna save and quit now we're gonna since I played this a little longer. Sorry if this video is really long. But I'm trying to get this so I can get over to the Minecraft version. So now since it's saved, we're going to load it up and see if it loads. Uh, if it does load, I'll cut it right here. If it doesn't, I will try to figure out something. So I'll see you guys in a little bit anyways. So it's actually looking like it's, it went past 25%. Hopefully, this works. Since I play a little bit on the newer version, I didn't go straight from very first 360 version to the newest version. I at least played it a little bit. Okay, so it is now loaded. So here's the last thing you have to do. Which they don't tell you this, which is freaking stupid. Click this little icon. It says, if you start this with these settings, Xbox Live Achievements will not be enabled. Anytime you download an old map, it automatically turns on cheats for some goddamn stupid reason. I don't know why they do it. You just go over here, you click unactivate cheats. That's it. 
You're good to go. I'm making trust players on uh, visitors. Uh, just in case anybody does join, but I don't think they join. And then you just play the game. And I'll be playing under a certain resource pack. Okay, so then we just hit play and it'll launch. And then you have your world. Next time you save it, it will automatically have it so you can earn achievements on this world, which is great. And there you go. See if you press and you go settings, it says doesn't say anything up in the top right where achievements would say disabled. So now you just save and quit and that's it. So there will be a video after this explaining the new series that is coming out for this. Not new, I tried, I had two or three videos in the past, but otherwise that is how to get the very first tutorial world and there's a lot of steps there. Very first tutorial world on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 up to the current version uh, because it's one of my funnest maps I played on. Otherwise, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. There will be a lot of jumps and cuts in this video because I had to do a lot just to get it to this point. Uh, Otherwise, I see you guys in the next video. Peace. All right. Before I say this, if you like the video, give it a like. If you ever are you subscribed to the channel, I recommend subscribing for the current content will be coming out in the future. If uh, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, have a good night, wherever it might be, just have a good day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.